Hello and welcome to Infinity. And this is the second in a series on colour theory, kind of going a bit at a time, but looking for the practical uses of it. So now we can look further at the colour wheel. And as we look around here, last time we showed how this is actually just made of red, green and blue, and because that's how the eye works. So if we turn on one here, we've got red, green and blue. And those are the primary colours, and those are those points there. And when we write down the values, we will typically put them down with brackets and then a red, green and blue. And it's always red, green and blue in that order. In here we've got percentages, 100%, naught and naught. That is because it's kind of easier to talk about them, so 50% we know is halfway. If you go to the up here to this hamburger here, you can change it to 8-bit, which is 0 to 255, which is the way you commonly see it, but also 16-bit, which is 0 to 65535, which these days you're getting a lot more editing in 16-bit, especially if you use raw images. So when we combine colours, the secondary colours are cyan, magenta and yellow. And we often say CMY because it's opposite the R, G and B. And the cyan there, imagine that as being three little torches in each pixel, red, green and blue. Here, if we show the values, we've got the red torches off, the green torches fully on, and the blue torch is fully on. So in other words, it's a combination of these two here. And unsurprisingly, because you've got two out of three little torches on, it's brighter. So what's also worth doing, and this is if you want to be able to recognize colors, this is worth doing, is actually learn the tertiary colors as well. And these are combinations here. So if I look at the values here, now you can see that orange, for example, is 100% red, but only 50% green, and then 0% blue. So it's that 50% is now being added. It's because the orange is right next to the red, but it's a couple of steps away from green. And the names here, orange, lime, spring, those are the ones I use. They use elsewhere in other things, but sometimes you use other words used. For example, you, these orange is sometimes called red, yellow rather than being a separate name. But it's easier, I think, to know the names. And also, because you remember the steps of where they are, the red then is just as, it's 30 degrees to there, going around the, and then 60 degrees, 90 degrees, and so on. But you can see the combinations. Things like the lime and spring, those are a bit trickier, but it's because the green is such a dominant color and your eye is stronger simply because we grew up in nature in the forests and things like that in different shades of green were kind of useful to see. What we can do with this as well, if I go to the background here and the, to the move tool, this is currently a little bit grey, but I can change that fill colour here and show something kind of important in here. If I two, turn down, two down and one up, it's going to, always going to be a primary colour. So if you see something at red, you know immediately one is up, two and two of them are down, that's a primary. If two of the red, green and blue are up and one is down, that's going to be a secondary colour. So in this case it's yellow. And then the third step for tertiary colours, if you've got one of these is halfway and then you've got one at the top and one at the bottom, that's always going to be a tertiary colour. So if you see orange, you can think, right, I, that's kind of like a pretty close to red, so the red's going to be fully up. It's going to be, I know where it is on the wheel, so it's, green's going to be the next one, but that's going to be only 50%, and then blue is kind of opposite, so that's going to be nothing. Similarly, we can just take any of these, turn that down, they say turn this one up and randomly put one in the middle there, and there we've got violet. So red's in the middle, green's the bottom, and blue's at the top. When we, once we can spot those, we can kind of pick out those quite quickly. So let's have a game of it. Here we go. And well, let's, let's have a look at those and check out this one here. And what is that? That is going to be, look at this one here. It's orange. Yeah, so it's 150 naught. What about the next one? 
Well, that one is teal, so it's 0, 50, 100. So no red, 50%, green, 100% blue. The next one there, that's magenta. So that's 100% red, no green, and 100% blue. And what about this one over here? Well, see, that's trickier because it's a green one, but see, it's a sort of more yellow green. So that's going to be lime. Let me start looking down here. What's about that one? Well, that looks like violet. So half red, no green and 100% blue. Next one. And we can play games like this yourself. You can say, look at this. What one is this? That one there is that going to be spring or lime? I think that's going to be spring, isn't it? This is a little bit tricky because it's a green. That one here. Well, that looks like going to be is that going to be a blue? We can always check it by simply going to the move tool here and clicking on it there and look at what we've got here. Ah, see what's happened here? We've got a lower red there. So we played this down here. So as the red goes down, it goes closer to blue because we're taking away the red. Whereas in the middle, it's going to be violet and up here it's going to be rose. So you can start guessing, ah, it's a bit closer down here to blue. So it's not any of those tertiary colours, it's, it's another level again. So you look to the closest things like the tertiary or the secondary and the primary and you do that. So the next one here, what's this one going to be? See that there is going to be, it's kind of reddish, but it's not quite orange. So it looks like it's between red and orange. And so again, we've got the, the green there is not in the middle. It's now pulled down again. What about this one? So that colour there, somewhere in here between blue and teal. And again, you move that to the that sort of subdivision again. This one down here, that is, where's that? That's only yellow, but it looks like maybe between yellow and orange. So that's where that one is there. You can see that on that quarter point. Next one. Where's that? Well, that's kind of a greenish colour, but is it more green or maybe it's on this side, maybe closer again there to sign, isn't it? So it's in between these two. So we look at that and we can see how that is. And let's go to the last one there. Well, that's close to red, but not quite red. So it's not on an orangey side. It's more on this other side, isn't it? So we can look at that and see. There we go. We just move that up you get that more towards the rose colour, but bring that down, it's getting closer to red. So in this way, you can see, we can guess the colours, we can guess the hues, whether it's red, green, blue, and then more red and more green, and a little bit of blue or something like that. Anyway, that's this one. And when next time we're going to go on to more detail, including HSL. So thank you very much for watching.